Hello everyone, welcome back to the Power BI Tutorials. In this video, we would be seeing that how can we actually create a map using Power BI. So for creating a map, there are some things that you must take note of. The first of them is that whatever data set you are using must have the columns like country, state, pin code, postal code, zip code, anything like that or the city so that the Power BI can actually recognize that what it wants to say. Like if you have a column labeled as states, so the Power BI would be able to recognize it and would be able to plot it on the map. So uh, you have to search for a data set that is containing appropriate records. So the question might come to your mind that from where you can get a data set like this so I have uh, uh, downloaded a simpler data set from the uh, internet itself. I have searched for something like sample data set in Excel for map in Power BI. And on Google it, I have got the second link that is Power BI course download practice data sets. And on going to this link, this is the section four maps and scatter plots. And this is this Excel sheet given to us. And if you want, you can just download it from the same link. The link or the URL is given over here. I will also share it in the description box. So you can just go to this link and download this data set. Or you can just search for the data set that suits your needs. So I have already downloaded this data set and let us load it into our Power BI to see what it looks like. So this is my Power BI and the data that I have uh, downloaded is in the form of an Excel sheet. So I'm going to import it in the form of an Excel sheet. This is the data that is P6 Amazing Mart European Union 2 Geography. That is for a European Union or uh, Europe itself and click on open. And uh, of course, you got to wait for a few seconds till the connection is established with the data. And we have got two sheets that is list of orders sheet. And if you just go over it, so we have got the regions or the fields like city, we have got country. And uh, we have got state over here. So if you just take a look, so we have got three deserving columns or the three columns which could be used in the map that is either the city, either the country or either the state. So this is a preferred data set. We are going to use it. So you can just click uh, or check it and click on load. Then what we are going to do is create a map out of it. So you must be wondering how to create a map. So there is a very simple method of creating a map in Power BI. Just as the charts, a map is also available in the visualization pane as a visualization itself. So you can just simply create it. Okay. If you just expand this visualization pane and this field pane, here you can see that in the field pane we have got list of orders with all these different fields. Okay, and here in the visualization pane you can see something written as a map. So that is actually what we are going to do. We are going to just click on this map, and a map would be available on our Power BI page. So if you just click on it, you can see a map is available, but we are not able to make anything out of it what it is so to make sure that it makes sense we have to drag some of the fields so the interesting field given over here is location in location you can just drag the city country state or if the postal code or the zip code or the pin code is given you need to drag it over here i want the records to be filtered by the country so i'm going to just drag and drop this country field into the location and uh, after that, you can see that uh, this pointer is glowing. And after a few seconds, this kind of a map would be loaded. Since this map was uh, related to Europe, so I have got all these kind of bubbles over here. Like I have got entries for Finland, Sweden, Norway, United Kingdom, Ireland, Germany, France, Spain, Portugal, Italy, etc. So all these countries which were present in my data set are now being uh, identified in this particular map. Okay. Now what do I want to do is I want to actually take a look 
that how many orders were placed so for that i can just drag the order id so this order id column would be able uh, would allow me to identify that how many orders were placed in which country so this order id column is dragged into the size field and uh, after a few seconds you can see that the size of the bubbles is now distorted in france we have got a bigger bubble and if we just hover over it there is a tooltip with count of order id that is 991 meaning a total of 991 orders were placed from france if we go to uk 700 orders were placed then there is a smaller bubble in Norway because 37 orders were placed. In Sweden, we have got 100 orders and in uh, Finland, we have got 34 orders. So that's how you can actually uh, represent the data in a map. One of the advantages of representing the data in a map is that you are able to interact with it in a better way. If you're showing this data to any of your clients or to your customers, they are going to be attracted more by a map rather than by a normal table or a chart. Okay, now there is one more thing. We have got a legend column. So luckily we have also got a region column in our data set. So if you want, you can just drag this region into the legend. And what would happen is now you have got colored dots like this dark blue for the north region. The central region is colored by a lighter shade of blue and orange is what is representing the south region. So if you want the different regions to be highlighted on the map, you can do that as well. Now, one more thing that uh, right now it is a um, location that is used to represent uh, the country is used to represent the location. But if you want cities to be represented, you can just uh, drop this column and you can just drag the city column over here. And after a few seconds, you would be able to see the different cities being uh, mapped over here. So you got to wait for a few seconds and yes, you have got all these cities present over here, but it's actually not looking very good because we have got these different cities stacked all over the place because the city's name are identical. Okay, so we cannot get city uh, for a very accurate database. So let's just drag state and see what happens right now. So yes, state is uh, pretty more accurate than the city so you can see the states over here and if you want to have a bigger look at it you can just go to the focus mode and you can just minimize the visualizations and the fields pane to get a better look at it but uh, there is actually one more thing that is of zooming right now it is set at the zoom level but what if you want to control the way the zooming occurs in the map so you can do that uh, by using this visualization pane and formatting the way the map looks so you need to go to this format tab and uh, if you just go to this map controls here we have this zoom buttons option which is currently uh, set to off but if you click on on then you get these two zoom buttons the plus and the minus one you can just zoom in uh, suppose I have zoomed in into Germany and I can see these different states which have been highlighted and uh, I can just hover over it and I would be able to see that which region it belongs, what is the name of the state and how many orders were placed in that particular state like this. Okay. So that's how it works. The zooming buttons. Now there is one more thing in map uh, like you all must have used Google map. So there are different options available in the Google Maps, like there is this 3D mode, there is this street mode. So what if you do not want this uh, uh, plain looking way for the map and you want to change the way it looks. So you have got this option of map styles and visualizations for yourself. Right now the theme is set to road, but if you want, you can just change an aerial theme. And after a few seconds, you can see that we have got this aerial theme and now you can just zoom in with all your details and you would get this like terrain kind of a view. You want any other theme, you want like a dark theme. So the dark theme would be available to you. You want any other theme. It was uh, very easy to set that particular theme. I'm going to go with an aerial theme. Okay. Now uh, you can also just uh, toggle with or play with all these options like um, I don't want tooltips to be there so no tooltips are there but if I just click on on then this tooltips would be visible now like this okay 
so that's how you can work with these maps so you can actually go on say data colors you can just change the colors uh, with which these regions are being highlighted i want a grayish kind of for the central region for the north region i want say kind of um, again a black for the central region or for the north region i want black and for the south i want say uh, white 30 percent darker white so these are the three shades that i have chosen that you can just click uh, and select you can choose whether you want to show legions and where you want to show legions that is basically how you can customize the way that your chart is looking or your map is looking so that is how you can work with maps in power bi that's pretty simple and uh, that's all for this video thanks for watching